-hmm. at the moment this picture looks good to some people but it is not good enough that you deliver this kind of picture to your client because this is not looking real the skin is not looking real it's too plastic okay so how do we recover skin textures so i have skin texture pattern here and then I will, I will give it to you. You have access to it. You can, you can always use any of them for your images, okay? So you can select any of them that you think will work for your image, okay? So for example, let's work with this first one, okay? Um, so change the blending mode to either soft light or overlay. I like to put it at overlay. The next like, comment, and subscribe. Next thing what you do is double double click on this part of the or pattern layer. Okay, and then you cannot increase this the scale. Okay, and then another increasing the scale, you cannot change the angle of your pattern. To the angle of your lighting okay the light that was used to take this picture from which angle is the light coming from if you if, if you are the one that took the picture of the model you are using try and shift this towards the direction of the light if you're not the one that took the picture you can just continue to move these until you have something very very good okay the moment you have something that is good enough for you to to go with you press ok so i think this is good enough for me i like what i like what, like what i'm seeing so i'm going to press ok and after that um we are going to add a little gaussian blur to to this okay so go to filter under blur go to gaussian blur convert to smart object Okay, so the reason you want to convert to smart object is, is so that you can always come back and adjust any of this setting if you are not satisfied with the overall results you can always come back to adjust um the settings you, the adjustments you have done so far so that's that's why it is good to convert to smart object okay so wait for it okay so um you can reduce this so let's say 0 0.4 yeah i think this is good enough for us press ok okay and then lastly we're going to use liquify to fix the skin and we are done so select liquify under um filter Now you want to be very careful when you get to this point. So set your opacity to 50. Okay, so these are my settings. Make sure that um, you put the use to all layers, mode to in front. Okay. Now this is my setting. Okay, this is what I use. You can set the size of the brush to whatever works for you. Okay. So this will work for this image. So the next thing is just push the textures around randomly, okay? The purpose of this is to have a realistic skin texture. You know, the random um, wrinkle that you can get from a skin. And then you can just come and push this in to the skin, okay? Push it into the skin. Push it into the skin. We're only looking at the skin, so the hair does not count. And then press OK the moment you are done. And wait for it. OK. And now we are at the last stage of this tutorial. OK. So um, at the moment, do not do anything. The next thing you want to do is to add a um, mask to this okay so when you click this um, icon here to add a mask okay so you can invert the mask by pressing ctrl i on your keyboard 
to hide everything that we have done okay now go to your brush select your brush tool your normal brush tool and then go to color and select white okay so you can now increase the size of the brush to what will work for you so what we want to do now is to brush over the skin alone so the part of the skin where you want the part of the of, of your model where you want to see the texture we have created applied you brush over those parts alone so this means you will not brush over the eyes you will not brush over the lips then you carefully brush over the nose so only the part of your model where you want to see the textures created that is the part you will brush on okay Okay, so now after brushing over the skin you can see that the skin is looking very is looking better now okay so if I remove this look at the before look at the after okay so look at look at the skin coming out better now okay so if, if you think if you feel like the textures are too much at some point some part of the of, of the skin you can still you can just go to your color you know we set it at white here now set it at black and reduce the flow and opacity and then you can start brushing over the part you want to reduce so for example I feel like it is too much at this part of the body so just continue to brush until it is reduced to what you want okay this is good enough go to the face too I feel like it is too much at some part of the face you can just reduce it okay you can just go ahead to reduce it okay but to me this is good okay so we have been able to recover the texture that was lost so this is the before the picture looking all plastic okay and then this is now you can see that you can see all the wrinkles of the skin coming back out okay so look at this Look at how rich the, the texture of the skin is now. Okay. So that is how to recover skin textures using the skin patterns that I have here. If you have any question, you can still chat me up. If you do not understand any part of the tutorial, let me know. I will explain to you. Thank you.